today my topic is resolving power resolving power a resolving power means the ability to separate the ability to separate what the ability to separate something suppose you i want to watch an object if there are two objects are there if i want to watch one object that means i can't watch a single object i can watch i have to watch the multiple objects so if i want to watch only one object means i want to use one device and focus on it and uh, zoom it so that is called a telescope that means resolving power the ability to separate two objects that is telescope if i am watching a micro objects by using the microscope if i want to concentrate on only one micro particle then i have to zoom it whenever i zoom it what happens what happens the micro objects becomes magnified isn't it so by magnifying image that means the clarity should not be decreased so that is the main aim but here what i am going to do, teach you is the resolving power of the grating here grating already we discussed in front of uh, diffraction due to n slits if there is n number of slits that is called grating what is the duty of grating the grating means here the ability to separate two nearby wavelengths that is the grating according to rayleigh's i will discuss uh, rayleigh's criterion also in rayleigh's uh, discussed it. about uh, three situations one is uh, not resolved another one is just resolved last one is well resolved two nearby wavelengths are overlapping with each other then they overlap nearly maximum nearly 80% that object can be seen as a single object that is called not resolved just resolved means the principal maxima of the first wavelength incident on the minima of the second wavelength and vice versa that is called just resolved the principal maxima of the first wavelength and the principal maxima of the second wavelength are very far with each other that is called well resolved that means we can easily recognize that there are two objects when they are far with each other but in case of just uh, resolved means okay there are two objects are there but they are mixed with each other so there is an equation part also we will discuss after this start the session resolving power of uh, grating resolving power of grating gives the ability to separate uh, two nearby wavelengths let us examine the diagram this is the diagram this is a b the wavelengths are of this peaks are lambda 1 and lambda 2 this is first wavelength and second wavelength when these two wavelengths are overlapped with each other if they are maintaining a certain distance between them that means the distance between a and b is more this is called well resolved condition that means the instrument can able to separate these two wavelengths in this much of distance then the second condition is this is same this is a and b this is lambda 1 and lambda 2 that means the first wavelength and second wavelength are separated by a little much very small distance that means the principal maxima of the first wave is coincided with the minima of the second wave and the principal maxima of the second wave coincided with the minima of the first wave this is called just resolved condition okay 
next one is this the principal maximas of uh, both wavelengths are overlapped with each other very closely then the resultant will be same that means it it appears like a single object it appears like a single object but here we can recognize these two are these are two objects but of course they are closed with each other but these two are these are two objects and here clearly we can observe that these are two objects these are very close to very uh, far from each other when compared to these two conditions that means the wavelengths this is lambda 1 this is lambda 2 the wavelengths are very nearby wavelengths suppose this is 5000 angstroms this should be a 5010 angstroms like that the variation the difference between uh, the wavelengths are around uh, order of uh, 10 or 5 like that okay let us discuss about equation part here a b represents a grating grating means n number of slits this is a parallel beam of light these are a parallel beam of light instant on this grating then it forms fringes on this screen x y here when two wavelengths are overlapped with each other that means this is p1 p1 means the principal maxima of the first wavelength and p2 the principal maxima of the second wavelength here i took a just resolved condition resolved condition here means the principal maxima of the first wave is coincided with the minima of the second wave and vice versa the wavelengths of the first wave is lambda the wavelength of the second wave is lambda plus d lambda that means a minute change between these two wavelengths now i had to find the resolving power of this grating that means the bending of light the light bends when an obstacle comes comes across the path of the light it bends like this after bending the light the wavelength which is having more wavelength this will be having more angle the wavelength which is having less wavelength it shows less angle, less value of angle so the wavelength of the first wave is theta n the wavelength of the second wave is theta n plus d theta n okay let us discuss the equation part according to Rayleigh's criterion it was explained by Rayleigh's according to his uh, criterion uh, two wavelengths will be resolved at the position of p2 that means p2 means here we have to consider here here we have to consider the principal maxima of the second wave and minima of the first wave very clear the principal maxima of the second wave and minima of the first wave <coughs> actually the principal maxima of n slits is the expression is e plus d sin theta is equal to plus or minus n lambda this is equation number one according to the n slits now we have to convert this equation into present situation this is the actual equation where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 up to n the condition for minima according to n slits minima of n slits that is n into e plus d already we proved in uh, Fraunhofer diffraction due to n slits this sin theta is equal to plus or minus m lambda this is equation 2 
the condition is m is equal to 1 2 3 4 and so on up to n but m is not equals to 0 n 2n 3n up to n n n n so n n means if the slits are 100 if i put 100 here it goes to the 100 order of principal maximum so to avoid this situation this condition according to Rayleigh's criterion two wavelengths will be resolved at the position of P2 that is at P2 these two types of wavelengths that means the principal maxima of this second wavelength which is dotted the minimum of the first wavelength are coincided at this position P2 here we have to resolve these two wavelengths here we know already we know we discussed in uh, Frana over diffraction due to n slits the principal maxima of uh, n slits is e plus d sin theta is equal to plus or minus n lambda this is where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 up to n this is the general equation the 1 2 3 4 refers order the condition for minima e of, of our n slits is n into e plus d sin theta is equal to plus or minus m lambda this is equation 2 where m is equal to the address are 1 2 3 4 up to n but m is not equal to 0 n 2 n 3 n 4 n like that up to n n means if the slit is having 100 this uh, grating is having 100 slits then if i put 100 here then this condition goes to the 100 order of principal maximum so these two equations may clash with each other so we have to put at the position of m I have to put very important thing this is put at the position of m n n plus 1 the condition will be now apply this condition to this equations so again i will write once again these equations on the back side again i wrote these two equations here you have to apply these equations to present condition here we have to consider the principal maxima of the second wave so we have to replace according to second wave second uh, wavelength um, theta is equal to theta n plus d theta n and uh, lambda is equal to lambda plus d lambda we have to replace these things these values in this equation that is e plus d sine theta n plus d theta n is equal to n into lambda plus d lambda this is equation 3 that means principal maxima of this is principal maxima of second wavelength principal maximum second wavelength now the minima of minima of first wavelength minima of the wavelength means n into e plus d sin theta but we have to replace something that means the minima also at p2 that means the angle is theta n plus d theta n but the wavelength is lambda this line this is lambda but we have to replace the m value here we have to replace uh, theta is equal to theta n plus d theta n and uh, lambda is lambda only to replace lambda 
but m is equal to n n plus 1 this then this equation 2 becomes n into e plus d sin theta n plus d theta n is equal to at the position of m n n plus 1 into lambda this is equation number 4 so the LHS are almost same but here we have to add n also that means multiply uh, or or this is no need to multiply e plus d sin theta n plus d theta n is equal to n n plus 1 lambda by n this is equation number 5 here now for equation 3 and 4 the equation 3 and 4 LHS is almost same but here from th that's why I took this n into this side then the LHS of equation 3 and 5 are same so we can equate these two equations now equate equate equation 3 and equation Five. That is n into lambda plus d lambda. Now equate equation three and equation five. Lambda plus d lambda is equal to n n plus one into lambda by n. So n lambda plus n d lambda is equal to n n lambda plus lambda by n if I multiply this n in this side n n lambda plus n n d lambda is equal to n n lambda plus lambda here n n lambda and n n lambda gets cancelled then n n d lambda is equal to lambda that means lambda by d lambda is equal to n into n here lambda by the final expression is lambda by d lambda is equal to n into n where n is equal to orders order capital n is equal to number of slits this is the final expression for the resolving power of grading okay by multiplying the order and the fringes then we can get the resolving power for resolving for power for resolving power there is no units at all because lambda indicates uh, some uh, angstroms or uh, something and d lambda also in terms of uh, angstroms so angstroms angstroms may cancel but resolving power has no units. Thank you.